basically two actual models got dropped, R R10 uh, and R1. They are very similar in sort of nature to um, what I would call uh, OpenAI's O1 model. They're you know, these reasoning models and they were trained in a, a, a similar way. We, we know for sure how R1 and R10 are trained because DeepSeek chose to open source their sort of, uh, sort of training methodology um, for, for R1 and R10. They really did move the science forward here. I did see a public comment from, I think, Mark Chen, who leads research at OpenAI on this stuff, that um, you know, he, he shared that like, he thinks that you know, it's similar in spirit to how Owen was trained as well. So I, I think there's some probably pretty good agreement here between sort of the ideas that have gone into creating both of these, both of these systems. And fundamentally, the whole, like the O series from OpenAI, this like R series from, um, from DeepSeek are fundamentally a, a, a paradigm shift from the type of AI systems that we've seen in the past. Uh, for example, from OpenAI, like GPT series, you know, from three to three and a half to four to four O. These are all the same sort of like broad, broad paradigm of scaling up pre-training, where we're trying to make these sort of models more intelligent by feeding them, you know, more data, making the models bigger, now it is also the case of four O was actually a little probably like the smaller, you know, there there's probably some distillation that went into four to make it more efficient. But but roughly we're sort of in the broad paradigm of making models smarter by trying to like give them more human data. Um, and they're effectively memorizing answers. 